oppression became oppressors. We fought England for our liberty and put chains on four million blacks. <coughs> we wiped out slavery and our tariff laws and the national banks became a system of white wage slavery worse than the first. Mm. Wall Street owns the country. <laughs> it is no longer a government of the people, by the people, or for the people. But it is a government of Wall Street, by Wall Street, and for Wall Street. The great common people of this country are slaves, and monopoly is the master. The West and the South are bound and prostrate before the manufacturing East. Money rules! Yeah. Our laws are the output of a system which clothes rascals in robes and honesty in rags. The political parties lie to us, and the political speakers mislead us. We were told two years ago to go to work and raise a big crop. That's all we needed. We went to work and plowed and planted, and we raised that big crop. The rains fell, the sun shone, nature smiled, and that big crop was raised like they told us to. And what came of it? Eight cent corn, ten cent oat, two cent beef, and no price at all for the butter and eggs. That's what came of it. The politicians said we suffered from overproduction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Overproduction when 10,000 little children, so statistics tell us, starve to death in the United States every year. And over 100,000 shop girls in New York are forced to sell their virtue for the bread their niggerly wages deny them. We want money, land, and transportation. We want abolition of national banks, and we want the power to make loans direct from the government. Mm -hmm. We want foreclosure systems wiped out. Yes. We will stand by our homes and stay by our firesides by force if necessary. And we will not pay our debts to the loan shark company until the government pays its debts to us. The people are at bay. Let the bloodhounds of money dog us thus far beware. Oh,